Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss the Geeks of Geeks problem of the day. And today's problem is balloon everywhere, which is an easy problem. So the problem says that that Bob is very fond of balloons. So basically, we have been given some string S and we have to find like how many uh, times we can form the word balloon. So we have to use the characters of that particular string only and we have to form balloon as many times as possible. So we have to return this maximum number of instances that can be formed and obviously like each character can only be used at most once. Right. So this is the problem statement. Now uh, let me just explain you the problem and then I will explain the code. So for example if there is some given string let us just copy uh, this particular test case. So this is the test case that we have been given. So it says that we have N, we have L, we have A, E, B, O, L, K, O. So I can use this particular P first and then use this particular A and then I have two L's, one here and one here. So this is E, A, double L and we have two O's, double O and this one N. And uh, we are still left with uh, E, L and K but we cannot form balloon from it. So we, have, we don't have to consider it and we can only form balloon only once using this particular string. So the problem is very straightforward. What we can essentially do is the very basic observation is we need 1 B, 1 A, 2 L's, 2 O's and 1 N. So this is the frequency of all the characters we need to form one instance of balloon. Right. So if so, this is for n is equal to 1 if I want to form 1. What if I want to form 2 of them? Obviously, I would need 2 b's, 2 a's, 4 l's, 4 o's and 2 n's. Right. And similarly, this will continue. Now, like to make it even simpler, what I can do is I can just divide the frequency of l and o by 2. So what will what it will essentially do is it will make all the frequency equal like all of them would be equal to 1 right so if I divide the frequency of L and O by 2 so this should also be 1 if I divide the frequency of L and O by 2 this problem would be even simpler because all of them would be reduced to 1 right so to form n n such instances I need the frequency of every character B A L O N to be at least n so my answer would always be the minimum of those frequency. For example, after dividing the frequency of L and O by 2, I have this particular numbers. For example, so let's say B is 3, A is 3, L is 3, O is 3 and N is 2. So my answer in this case would be the minimum of all the frequencies and in this case it would be 2. Right. So to form N words, I need the frequency of each of the characters to be at least N. Right. So at the end, my answer would just be the minimum of the frequencies. And now let me just show you the code What I've done. I've essentially created a map of character and int. And I'm traversing through the original string s and I'm incrementing at each, each position like the frequency. And in the next step, I'm just doing a right shift on the characters l and o. Right shift essentially means dividing by 2. So in this step, I'm dividing by 2. I am dividing the frequency of L by 2 and I am dividing the frequency of O by 2 and in the last and the final step I just uh, like initialize my answer as minimum of the frequencies of all these characters B, A, L, O and N right and at the end I can just return my answer. So this would be the solution for the problem for today's problem of the day and uh, you can find the code itself in my description in the description of this video and uh, I hope you guys were able to understand this question. And I'll be posting such videos uh, on this channel from now on, posting all the problem of the days. So in case you're interested, you can subscribe. So till the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe. Bye-bye.